So for today's class, we're going to be doing a circuit. So have a variety of hand weights available, whatever you have. We're going to be using our small loop for a couple exercises and our mat. There's going to be some cardio training. There's going to be some core training. There's going to be some strength training. We have five rounds of work today, and each round has four exercises that we're going to repeat two times. Start to finish, we're at about 50 minutes today. Tuesdays are usually a little bit longer. I try to keep it under the hour. Whenever you need to, modify as we go. Do the best that you can with those strength exercises. As you know, I'm going to be super modifying um, some of my upper body work. So if you see me holding my little tiny hand weights for demonstration, it's just more to show you the movements and the alignment, not necessarily for me to work strength today because I am really babying my shoulder. I do have some heavier weights for some bicep curls and um, some leg work. So, you know, hop in with what you've got. Okay, I think we're going to get started. Looks like everybody might be here. We might be missing one person, but we'll get going. We're ready, ready to move. So we're going to start with our warm-up. Just make sure you have some space that's free and clear of your equipment. It's always a good idea to sort of have your equipment to the side. Even during the workout, I will give you um, about 20 minutes, uh, 20 minutes, yeah, 20 seconds in between each exercise to uh to prepare for the next exercise. So it's not a super fast changeover like it is usually with HIIT training. So with the circuit, you have a little bit more recovery in between each exercise. Okay, let's get going. Starting with the march in place. Good posture. Take a nice deep breath with me. Again. Take it out wide with those feet. We're gonna tap and reach right here. Don't stop me now, we're just getting started. Reach forward. Both arms reach up. Both arms forward. Upright row, hamstring curls. Knees up. Repeater, four, three, switch, switch, one more time, plant your feet and squat, arms and guards, chin chest up. Squat come up with a punch. Stay right here. We're reaching. Doubles. Tight through the center. Warming up those arms. Cross punch. Peel off, rotate those hips. Our punches are coming over our head now. Stay with that cross though. Stay 
We're going down to the floor. Let's go. Let's punch. Good. Chin chest up to me now. Hook it. Uppercut. Hook it again. Uppercut. One more time. Hook it. Uppercut. Little flurry. Bend those knees. Get down low. Tap. Arm to guard. Back into that swivel. Warming up our belly and back. Face front, knee lifts. Little tap if you can. Side knees. Four each. Four, three, two, one. Squat pulse. Shoulders pull back. Press into those heels. Can you drop a little lower for me? Rise up. Right foot back. Left foot back. Little hip flexor stretch here. Arms sweep. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Big march in place. First exercise, no equipment. Little space side to side for lateral travel. Hold on one second, sorry. In place. So move to one side of the room, whatever it's gonna be. We're gonna be doing a lateral shuffle into three alternating outer thigh lifts. Are you ready? Here we go. Circle if you want. Arms and guard. Big lift. Yes. Tight to the center. This time, singles. One shuffle. Lift. Four, three, two, grab weights appropriate for shoulders. Overhead press combo coming at ya. Parallel squat position. Arms in front of the shoulders. Draw the navel in. Squat press. Squat press. Lunge. So there's that alternating lunge that you saw in the warm up. Good. Bicep curls. Good. Feet are planted. Shoulders pulled back. I hope you picked something up a little bit heavier. I think you did. Two by two. Up and down. Good. Elbows tucked in. We're not leaning back to lift our weights. Top. Let's go. Three, two, one, drop, reset. Three, two, one, drop, reset. 
Good. We're gonna flip this. Up quick. Here we go. Up quick. Down with control. Up quick. Down with control. Two more. One more. We're going to plank. If you want a mat, you can put it down. Good, find that plank position. Press to your palms, right underneath the shoulders. Knees or toes are optional. If you're on toes, knees, you're gonna do the same thing. Knee comes up the center, extend out, tap it in. Opposite side, knee with a leg extension, knee drive, extend, knee, tap. If you're on those tippy toes, press those heels to the back of the room. Knee, extend, knee, switch. Push the earth away from you. Last one. And recover. Fantastic. Come on up, shake it off. Okay, resetting for that lateral shuffle into three alternating leg lifts. Less than 10 seconds we go. Four, three, two, let's go. Start with three. So if you want more, arms could be longer or you could keep them in guard. Singles go. I want you to flex your heel and press through that outside ankle on the lift. Last two. It waits for squat presses. Parallel squat position. Weights in front of the shoulders. We're gonna just start with squat press. Let's go. Lunge down, go. Lunge, press, lunge, squat, press. Nice active movement here with weights. Bicep curls. Set your stance. Two by two. Lift. Lower. This just gets us moving. Slow to the top. Three, two, one. Drop reset. That drop is a control drop. Flip it. We're going to go up quick, down slow. Up. Three, two. Good. Come halfway down. Little pulses. Four. Find your plank. Biceps burning. Let's put it right into a plank. Push the earth away from you. If you're on those toes, flat back. No bottoms in the air. Knee. Lift. Knee. Reset. Draw that knee up and in towards the chin. Nice long leg extension pushes away. Feel all that work happening in your belly. 10 seconds. 
seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. Okay. Little sip if you want it. New circuit. No weights to start. Starting with some cardio move. I have to tell you, we started easy with cardio and it's gonna progressively get a little bit more challenging. Sumo squat stance. Sink into it. We're gonna squat, pivot and reach, squat, pivot and reach, squat, reach. Let's go. Down, reach, down, reach. Lift those heels. other movement. Lunge, kick, lunge, switch sides. We're going to add the curls in. Are you ready? Here we go. Lunge. Now, if a kick is too much, what could you do? Lunge, knee, lunge, tap in, or toe tap. One more. Good. Keeping those moderate weights. We're gonna be doing bent over reverse flies. Shoulders stacked. We're gonna go down for three. Ready? Here we go. Rise up. Again. Steady gaze in front of the toes. Good. Shoot those hips back. Singles. Let's go. Down. Good. Okay. One little weight. Or one weight, just a light weight. Hold it into end. First round is right side only. Side leaning lunge. Tap in and rotate. Side leaning lunge. Tap in and rotate. Option one is a tap and a rotate. Option two, knee and a rotate. Final twist. Imagine you want to look behind you over that right shoulder. With or without balance, you could be here, prepping that balance. Last one, and recover. Fantastic. 30 seconds to do what you gotta do. Wipe off the sweat, get a little sip of water. We're resetting in that sumo squat position for the squat and pivot reach. I want you to stay low the entire time. The whole time, down nice and low. Are you ready? Here we go. Down, pivot, down, pivot. Now as you reach down, we don't bow forward. 
the fingertips just extend to the floor so that we can squat down lower. Like if you wanted to pick something up in that position. Stay under the radar. Keep those thighs and glutes under tension. Four, three, two, woo. Lunge, kick, lunge with bicep curls. If the bicep curls are too much, arms stay by your side. Are you ready? Here we go. Lunge, kick, lunge. Lunge, kick, lunge. Option is put another curl in. If you don't want to kick, knee or tap. Last one. Good. Keep those weights. Bent over flies. We're going to start with triples. Here we go. Little bend of the elbow. Imagine that walnut between your shoulder blades. Crack it. We're gonna stay down for single hold. Stay here. Stay here. Ten seconds. Four. Three. Two, Ooh. smaller weight. Our side leading lunge goes to the left. Oblique twist is added in with balance or balance prep. Balance prep is toe tap. Heel lifted, big rotation. Go at your pace. I would like to see a good twist. If you're lifting that knee, when you step into that lunge, it's soft. Knee. to it. Four. Three. Two, recover. You know I'll never be lonely. You're my only one, and I love the things I really love. Starting with some cardio. As promised, it's gonna get a little bit more challenging. Challenging for the heart, not so much for the mind. We're gonna hop into scissor, hop into center. You ready? Here we go. Modification. Tap, lift. Tap, heel pop. Tap, heel pop. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Heavy weights. They're just for drag. Side lean lunge. Curtsy, side, center, switch. 
Don't worry too much about the beat of the music here. Get a rhythm. Flat back as you hinge over. 10 seconds. Good, lighten the load. One weight in each hand. I'm not gonna be using weights, but I would like you to. Left hand in front of the thigh, right hand by your hip. A lift, lower, switch, L raise, two by two. A little quicker. Here we go. Right to shoulder height. I don't want to see this. Right here with control. Right here. And L has a 45 degree bend. Put it in your armpit. Let's go. Hold on to this. Tighten through the core. Draw your belly in. Grab your mat. All fours position. Right lead, arm extends out. Left toe extends out. It's elbow to knee, then hip and arm abduction away. In, sweep away. In. Sweep away. Opposite arm is stacked underneath the shoulder. If you would like to modify, keep both hands down and just do the knee drive with the hip abduction. Four, three, to recover. Fantastic. I like that one. A lot going on. Here, here, here. As well as some balance. Okay. Setting back up for our cardio. So it's hop to scissor, hop together, opposite scissor back, hop together, and three, Two, one, let's go. Hop together, hop together. Or tap, lift, little pump in the middle. Pump, pump. Ten seconds. Show me. Four, three, two, one. Heavyweights. Side lunge. Cross back. Side switch. We are halfway through our workout today. Let's go. Good. Set up for your L raises. We're gonna start by that two by two. 
Good posture here. One by your hip, run in front of the thigh. Here we go. Lift, lower, switch, lift, lower, switch. One more like that. Are you ready? Singles. Yeah. This music, I need it. Less than 10 seconds. Little bend to that elbow. Four, three, two, all fours position. This time, left arm extends. Right toe. Start in all fours. Good alignment. Levers extend, toe lifts. First is elbow to knee. Then your levers sweep to the opposite side of the room. This is gonna rock your core. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw this move again in core and more. Ooh, sneak peek, Becky. Last one. Rest. Oh, is the sweat dripping onto your mat? Woo! Have a sip of water. You're probably wondering when we we're gonna get to our loop. Well, not to fear. We're throwing it on now. Around the ankles, let's go. I wouldn't go with a heavy loop. Feet wide. Icebreakers, go, go. So you can just do a calf raise, keep the toes implanted, or you can add a little hop. Keep tension on the strap. Yes, let's go. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, loop off. Moderate weights. If your moderate becomes too heavy, hold one end to end. Triple pulse, press into slow, tricep extension. Here we go. Three, two, one, up. Here we go. Three, two, one, up. Two by two. Woo! So I kept them slow so that you could hopefully challenge with more weight. Don't shrug those shoulders, please. Drive it. Oh. Matt, come onto all fours. Who's ready for a tricep push-up? On knees. Fingers close together, elbows to the back of the room. Down, up. So your elbows brush the side of your body like chicken wings. Three, two, one, up quick. Three, two, one, push quick to the top. Woo! Singles. Four. Three. Two. 
Holy smokes. Flip around. <laughs> Knees bent. Feet flat. We're going to climb the rope on the floor. Looks like this. Three, two, one. Come down. Three, two, one. Down. Three, two, one. Roll back. Three, two, one. Don't let those feet pop off the mat. So we're looking to find what I like to call that sticky spot. You won't get all the way up to seated. I only want you coming halfway. Three, two, right to that spot where you can either push through or want to go back down. Holy smokes. Good. Recover. She's got a buddy, all fours, fluffy, working out with her. I'm in love. Are you ready for some cardio? Throw that loop on. In four, three, two, let's go. Come on, let's go. Less than 10 seconds. Four, three. Moderate weight. Triple pulse, squat. Arms come up for a slow tricep extension. Here we go. So, what would it look like with one weight? Simple. Three, two, and to end. Same thing. One more. Who's ready for tricep push-ups? Yep. We've got a little superset for triceps built in. Tricep push-ups coming your way. Remember, hands are closer together than chest push-ups. On those knees. Here we go, two by two. Smooth and steady. Elbows tucked. Yes. Halfway down for three little pulses. Press up. Three little pulses in the bottom. Oh my gosh. Seriously, Becky? Three, two, one. And done, flip over. Ready to climb the rope. Remember, I'm looking you to lift the head, neck, and shoulders just to that spot where it could go either direction, all the way up or all the way down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Find that sticky spot. Going slow like this, we have no momentum. It requires all core. Oh, 
One more. Oh, grab some water. As we get prepared for our final circuit. Last four exercises. You know the drill, two times through. Throw that loop on. You didn't think we'd only use it once, did you? <laughs> We're doing heel pops or heel taps. So plie position, option one starts with this. Just tap that toe in. Option two. Ten seconds. Three, two, heavy weights. Narrow stance. Deadlift, upright row. And three, two, one, let's go. Hinge, lift. Good. Flat back. Shoot those hips back. Use your core on that upright row. One more. Good, put one of your heavies down. Put the other one in your right hand. We're doing a single arm row. Right foot is slightly back. Hinge forward over that little hip crease. Arm elongates away from the shoulder. Drive it. Drive it. Come on. I want that elbow coming past the hip. Try not to let your shoulders round forward. Really draw the navel up and in. 10 seconds. If you hinge forward a little bit further, check in with alignment. Good, grab your mat, come on your back. I want the soles of your feet together, your knees open, hands come gently behind the nape of the neck. So we're gonna do a reverse butterfly curl. So hips and shoulders are gonna lift and come down. But when we lift our head, neck and shoulders, we're not using our hands to lift. We're not pulling. So what if you just took your hands behind your head, but you didn't actually touch your head and then tried to lift? For five, four, three, two, roll up, quick sip. We're putting that loop on. This is it. You know exactly what's in front of you. There's no tricks. There's no bends in the road. Plie position. Option one. Quick plie. Tap in. What's option two? Plie pop.
You are the champions. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 10 seconds. Four, three, two. Dead lift up right row. Grab two weights. Stiff straight legs. Narrow stance. Here we go. Are we pressing hips back, straight legs, engaging glutes and hamstrings? Yes, of course you are. Five, four, three, two, weight in your left hand, just one, heavy as you can go, right? Left foot slightly back, because we're gonna come into that hinge position. Right hand on the thigh, arm extends out from the shoulder. Here we go. Draw it up and back. As you do, keep going. Try not to turn your shoulder open. So keep your shoulders and your hips square. Squeeze that rear delt as you pull up. Good. And as you pull up, the torso doesn't move. Keep it static. 10 seconds here, please. Fight to the end on each movement. We never give in. One more. Find your butterfly stretch. Hands gently behind the nape of the neck. Squeeze the soles of the feet together. Engage your glutes. Are you ready? Nice and smooth. Hips and shoulders lift and lower. Always modify by just doing legs. For five, four, three, two arms and legs long for me, please. Big stretch. Hug those knees in. Little gentle rock side to side. Let's go. Good. Right knee stays in. Left leg extends out. Roll the ankle. Wiggle the toes. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of seat? Right toe extends to the ceiling. Yeah. Another one past the dust. Flex at that another ankle, drive that dust. heel to the ceiling. And another one gone, and another one gone. Another one past the dust. Hey, I'm gonna We're gonna cross our right leg over our left dust. side. Feet opens away for a figure four stretch. When you're ready, pick up that left side. Arms open, knees fall to the left side of the room. And then we're going to roll to our side. 
quads stretch. And another one past the dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one past the dust. Hey, I'm gonna get you too. Another one past the dust. Oh, Center. Little hug of those knees again. Oh, round the head. Oh, oh, Take it. Look out. Left knee stays in. Right leg extends out. Roll the ankle. Wiggle the toes. Extend the toe to the ceiling. And flex. We're gonna cross that leg over the right thigh. Another one bust the dust. Knee opens. Another one bust the dust. If you want to pick up that right side, you can. Arms open. Knees fall to the right side. Oh yeah. Roll to your side. Quad stretch. Another workout. Bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one bites the dust. It's never really gone, is it? Because you can always catch it on on demand. Rise on up to all fours. A little cat cow stretch here. Tuck and sing. One more time. Round up. Tuck and sink. Good. Neutral spine. We're going to bring those toes together. Open those knees a bit. Hinging back into that child's pose position. Crawl the fingertips out in front of you. Let your hips and your bottom get really heavy into your heels. Third eye to the ground. Bend at the elbows. Bring the hands into prayer position behind the nape of the neck. Finding that tricep stretch. And then extend those fingertips out long again. We're going to walk our hands in towards our knees. And then just press our self up into that kneeling position, giving me a couple little shoulder rolls at the top. Good. Loosening up through the neck. We're going to hand, bring the hands behind the small of the back, knuckles down, chin chest up. If this gets uncomfortable, you can always come to standing here as well. Good. Right hand is going to come over the head as we reach towards the left side of the room. Oh, yes. Bring that in and switch. Come center. Let's finish with one big breath together. Cleansing our palate. Ah, fantastic. Thank you so much. So happy that you joined me today. And I cannot wait to see you our next time together.